Welcome back to Baba's You in New Adventures. And luckily, we have like a lot of flexibility today because we do have some stuff we could do in Bob Arcade. We also have more levels in Familiar Land, three new ones that I haven't even looked at and plenty more to come. And then two more worlds as well. Land of Oddities and Land of Delicacies. So hopefully that means that if I get stuck today, we can just go somewhere else. But let's continue where we left off with familiar lands and check out Tangled Passage. Crab is you. I am Crab. Flag is win. Rock is stop. Algae is sink though, so if we can make rock push instead... Somehow... Hmm, how's that gonna happen? Algae is algae and not push. Jelly is float. Edge is stop. Algae is defeat. Oh yeah. Yeah, we just need to get the words. Somehow we need to get the words out so that we can make rock is push at the bottom right. I guess. And what's the problem with that? I see the problem with that. Yeah, because jelly is float, we can't push the jelly to do anything here. And for words, we need the rule algae is sink until I push the rock. But that means we can still make like rock is push and then algae is sink. So we just need four words, but that means we only have two to push in here. Huh. How is that going to happen? I mean, we can do like algae is... No, algae is not push. Yeah, we can't do that. Algae is algae, so we can't do algae is... Jelly is algae. We can turn jelly into something, but it would only be algae. And I don't see how that would hap uh, help. Jelly is algae. Oh no! No, I do see how that works. Yeah, that's it. That's just the key. Because jelly is float, but algae is not. And if algae is sink, then two algaes will sink each other. So we can just do this, and then turn jelly into algae. Uh, and we have to keep this rule like that. And they just kill each other. And now we just have to keep... And we can get rid of Jelly and one of the Isses. Yeah, I think that's it, right? That wasn't too bad. Your prediction was incorrect, assuming I am right about this. Don't go too far down. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That's not the solution you use, really? There's like a more convoluted solution. You didn't use any transforms, huh? No idea how that would happen. Enter the infinity. Oh God, it's very zoomed in. Bob is you, square is stop. Empty is empty, empty is win. So we need to get onto empty. I mean, that, that's not possible. We need to make something else. Win. Hmm. But the triangles are nothing. Yeah, they're just here for, like, to be not empty, I guess. Interesting music. Yeah, I can already see how this is weird. We would want to, like, somehow get in... You know, we need to, like, get inside here so that we can push Bob as you to the right, but... That doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. All we can do is, like, empty is empty here. Oops. Or, like, Baba is empty. We can't even do that. Yeah, empty already is empty, so that doesn't... 
do anything. I guess we can do empty is you is probably how we're solving this one. It kind of has to be that. But then what does that mean exactly? Yeah. And then I just... Oh god. Uh, oh no. Uh, how do we do this now? Oh crap. Oh my god, no, that's... I don't believe you. That the hint guide, Baba's hint, rates this as a 5 star and says they hate the level? No. Not possible. And like, we can't do anything else here. We can't get empty underneath the rules. I can't like make Baba's you here. We can't make, like, Baba is win. Wait, how did I get that down? Huh? How does that make sense? Why does moving... Oh, right, because I am now the tiles of empty here. So, yeah, we can move this down, but now it's stuck. Now I can't move it further. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? It's almost like I want to push this in from the inside instead. But that doesn't seem possible. Hmm. Like, we can do this, I guess? Oh, no. Nope. Because then we can't go down. Why does the is... Oh yeah, the is moves because Baba pushes it now. Yeah. yeah. Empty has always been weird to, like, try and think about. Oh! There we go. That seems good. Well, kind of. Not really. No, that doesn't really help. I mean, I, I could have empty not in the bottom right corner, or could I? I mean, I, empty will just push it there. I guess we could leave win, like, here, so that empty can't push it to the right. But that still wouldn't help right now. I would have win, but then what would we do? Huh. If I, like, push this down here... I mean, that, that's something. But only for one tile, for one, like, turn. We would still need the is here, and then we would need it to be, like, over here instead. Or, I mean, that doesn't matter. I could, in theory, then push the win over here, but we would still need, like, to push the whole rule down at the same time. And the, the win was always on the bottom, right? Yeah, so we can't get win to be, like, here or something. Yeah, it's another one of those, like, deceptively simple levels where, like, there's... It doesn't feel like there's anything you can do, but... It's definitely something about how to move empty around like I was doing. The question is just how. I feel like we have to start with this, but then, yeah, we can push, like, win over here, I guess. 
but I don't feel like that's going to be enough to solve it. You know, we can't move left at all if I do that. As soon as I move left, the wind is, like, locked. Maybe we have to, like, first start by not just moving down, moving... No, I can't move up. If I start by being up there, that might be better if we start with this, so that Bob is on the top, and then we push this down. I'm not sure why that would really help, though. But now we can go and fetch the empty, and I guess, like, do this or something. Hmm. It's like I would want the Baba to get in here or something, but no. I feel like the only way we can we can do this is is either Baba is you and Baba is win, where we would somehow push it down to be here, or it has to be empty. Empty is you and empty is win. But I don't know how to make empty is you and also empty is win, because I can't get this up out of here, and we can't get an is down. I see, yeah, like, it's it's something like that. We need to get the is and the empty down somehow. But how are we going to do that? I could push this from above instead. Does that matter? And then Bob is you. Uh, wait, from here... Nope. Oh, man. Yeah, this seems very fiddly. Now all we can do is move up or down. Might be a level we have to come down, uh, come back to later. So yeah, like what I want to have, what, what I want to happen seems so simple. Putting this here wouldn't matter. That's just a bad idea. We somehow got the is free from the wall? Huh. I have no idea how you would end up doing that. Yeah, I don't see how you could get the is free from the wall. You could maybe avoid it being on the wall to begin with, but then I don't know how to do that. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm doing in this one. I think I'm just gonna give up on this one. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know like what else you can do, how else you can move these. I think let's just move on to Flight Academy. Oh boy. Where's Win? Oh there. Oh god, this this one, okay, this is like the opposite of the previous level. Where that level is just like I don't know how to do the thing that is obviously what we have to do. Here it seems like, oh no, there's too many things you can possibly do. Cloud is stop, Bob is you, dust is defeat, UFO is hot, rocket is rocket and melt. Why would we want to melt the rocket? Text on dust is star. Text on text is star. But star is nothing. I guess that's just a way to, like, sacrifice words? No? No, that doesn't even, like, get rid of the dust. Why would we want star, then? Just for pull, I guess? I mean, that wouldn't matter, because we can pull the text, right? Same as, like, star, and I can't make star as pull. Yeah, that seems weird. I... That's the thing that's tripping me up right right off the bat. It's like, why... Why would we want text on text is star, or text on dust is star? Or why would we not want it? What does it, like, prevent from happening? I, I guess it might prevent just, like, pushing some rule in here, or whatever. In some way, you could do some weird thing with pushing in words far enough to do something. Yeah, oh boy. What else, what else do you do here? We only have right, but if I make anything right, then it's gonna be stuck forever as right. Oh, I see now that, that, like, the whole idea is we want to somehow push things past these UFOs, I guess. And then, like, line it up so we push bird first, then is, then win, to make bird as win. I guess that's the idea. I'm not sure why there's a UFO up here. I guess just in case you make rocket is move here. Then it'll just walk up and die, yeah. And somehow we need to, like, make sure the rocket does not hit one of the UFOs. Hmm. And how does this work exactly if we do, like, rocket is right and rocket is move? Eh, I wanted to make it pull as well, but we make it move for now. And then I make it pull here. Uh, one more. That's fine. Just make it pull now. Then if I pull it back, it still is always right, no matter how you pull it. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna have, like, the bird not facing right, the bird will face left, but the rocket will face right, and they'll, like, pull each other in tandem, basically, push in, and then you flip the rules and have them move the other way. Something like that. But how do we make bird is pull and bird is move at the same time? We don't have another is. Oh boy. And we can't, like, 
make use of these in there first, because that is needs to get to the top left first. Or like eventually. Hmm. Maybe it's the opposite and the bird's right, but I don't know why that would matter, really. I can't even, like, move the bird myself. We can do bird's pull, I guess, to move it. Yeah. I don't know. And if we do, like, rocket is pull, bird is move. And it does, yeah, it does, like, bring it back. Okay. So, I mean, that's a nice start, at least. That seems good. Since we haven't, like, used up anything. But how do I make all of this happen at the same time? Where we want to have, like, rock... Rocket is right, but the bird is left. Oh no. Yeah, like this is how I would want them set up. Just bird is move. Yeah, at this point we need to have rocket is right. Which kind of messes everything up, right? Like, here it works, I suppose. Right off the bat. Oh. Oh no, no, stop. I hate pull. No, stop it! Why did you even- wait! Oh, right, I went to the right, yeah. God, yeah, how is this even not gonna work? From here, we now, like, push this up to break it. Wait, no! Oh, bird is still moving! Crap! Oh boy, how is this gonna happen? Because if I break that, then we lose the rocket. I can't have the rocket in front of the bird. Maybe it's some weird thing where, like... Hold on, if... If the bird is actually the thing that's right... Yeah, okay, this might be... this might be it. I think I understand that, like... Oh yeah, I could break the bird by just pushing the word bird to the side. But still, I could, like... Do bird is right, and then have it facing this way. If we do that, like this, but then still do rocket is pull and bird is move, doesn't that mean it's still, they both moonwalk? Well, the rocket will turn to the other side, I think. Because, like, the bird is gonna try to move into the rocket. It can't, so then it'll try to move left instead but still facing right. Yeah. So that's something you could do. And then all you have to do is break rocket as pull, like here. We do that. Oh, but then, yeah, it's just like... It just walks back. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's kind of a neat interaction, I guess. Yeah, at this point, the, the bird would have to be pull.
Yeah, we can't, like, break this... Oh no, yeah, that works! In that sense, like, here we can break pull, and now get the time to do other stuff? But how is that gonna happen? Because now we need the... Yeah, the bird to be pull. I guess that's fine. Bird is pull, rocket is move? Oh no. Bird is pulled. Rocket is move. Oh. For some reason I thought the bird would then like... Oh, right. For some reason I'm thinking I want to get the words in here. I don't. I just want to push them. So yeah, I'm, I'm just doing, doing this wrong. But this should work. At least for this first step. But there might be more complications. Yeah, I thought I was, like, latching on the bird to the bird and then pulling them all out, but no, that's... that's wrong. Is it here? Is that fine? Yeah. Okay, so there we have... have that. And then just this, and we can get them out again. And then we just align them again, I guess, here. This seems like it's gonna work, but I'm not sure if there's some other twist to it that I'm not seeing. Yeah, that can be that can be phasing up, that's fine. And then we'll want rocket is pull. Bird is move. Oh yeah, here comes the problem, I guess. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay. What do we do about that? Hmm. How can I not have the rocket touch a UFO here and still push the word in. If it was just, like, one, then we could sacrifice the rocket, like, at the end, for the final word. Also, I'm pushing the wrong word, that's fine, whatever. It'll be the same, like, regardless, just the solution. And what exactly happens if we just have... Yeah, this might be, like, wrong all along. What what would have happened if we just had the bird just walk in to the left instead? Hey, I think we're, we're in, like, the same normal Baba stream territory about hints. Like, feel free to give minor hints when you feel I've been on a level enough, especially if I'm, like... Especially if I'm not actually actively trying new ideas, if I'm just stuck, then I appreciate hints. Which I guess I am kinda now. Like, I don't see how flipping the two would matter if I could somehow get a word out here, like the bird word. I don't see how that would help, like we can't attach the bird word, like in between them or something. Yeah, maybe this is wrong, the whole, like, them moving into each other. Maybe we do want them, like, separated, where the rocket is right, but the bird is... is, uh, phasing left, so that the bird could go in, like, all the way to the end. I'm on the right track, you're only supposed to do it later? There's a different way to get both the bird and the rocket back? Huh. 
I'm not sure what you mean by that. You want to know when to use a right? I guess so. Like, I thought we just had to have one of them right always. Because as soon as I make right once, we can't remove that ever again. So it has to work on all three of them. Also, yeah, I guess I should test, like, what happens here. Yeah, I guess at this point, in that sense, yeah, we can get them back by just, like... ...having them continue moving? No? Ah, uh, I mean... Yeah, that's not gonna work. Like, we can get the bird back, I guess. That's fine, but the rocket won't come back. I guess I can do rocket is move then. But I'm not sure how this would help. I can't go in there and fetch them in that case, so that seems wrong. Yeah, no, I don't see the bird and the rocket getting on the belt being a good idea. Let's just reset one more time. Just getting the rocket out here seems like an obvious first step. And then we have to, like, set this up to begin with. They just do bird as move now? Like, yeah, that'll just get up here. Yeah, that wouldn't do anything either. that to like have the bird move back again but that's functionally the same as what I've been doing so that doesn't really matter yeah and then we get them back out again can rescue the rocket without using right. Oh yeah, that does make sense. I can rescue it because I can make it pull, which will mean the bird just goes back with it. So that's fine. So we would just set up rocket as pull at this point. Just like this, and it'll just fetch that. Yeah, like, that's fine. But what'll that change for how I can, like, push those in? That'll let me save an entire step on the UFOs. Because, yeah, it won't be something about having the bird in front. Because, yeah, the bird needs to push onto this tile, and then at that point, the, the rocket is already dead. If we only push, like, one word. I guess you would then have, like, a throwaway word that you could push in as well, but I don't see how to do that other than getting this one. And I can't get this word to the right. not using right until it's on 
until Is is on the belt. Yeah, and I don't see how to get Is on the belt without the rocket already dying. I mean, I guess the bird can just walk in and do it on its own, in that sense. But then I can't... I don't know how to, like, start with a bird then without using right, and then still, like, have the bird move in here, and then when it pushes this on here, have the bird facing right. I mean, I guess for now we can... We can just do the same thing again. If we just reorder these again. They're just moving over there. But yeah, now I now I feel like I have to use right. I guess we can just flip these and make bird is pull and rocket is move? Yeah, I see. And then we don't use right. And they move back. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was missing. And now, for some reason, we have to use that on the is, but then how the hell do I... Oh, and that's why, because I can then sacrifice... Okay, yep, now it's falling into place. So we do this one with only bird, and then make it right, and then this one we have to sacrifice the rocket, because it's fine, as long as the rule works out. So, put the bird over here, and then just bird is move. And then bird is right, and then bird is move. There we go, and now we pull these into place with a bird in front and the rocket behind. And there we go, right? Like that. And then the bird moves moves back, yep. And the bird is win. Nice. That's a really cool level. And yeah, thanks for the, the hints. They were like subtle enough, but still got me to the end. That was very good. And yeah, I did hear you mention one of the variants of uh, Flight Academy. So uh, Flight Academy 2. Do I want to? We could just do other levels instead. Oh god, what's happening now? We just have defeat? We don't have right anymore? And now the rocket is like further left than it was before? You haven't figured this one out so you can't give help? I guess we'll just have to experiment a little bit. Oh no, don't want to do that. Yeah, let's just, like, take a look at it, but probably won't do too much here. So, to begin with, we can do the, the same thing, right? Oh, no. Ah, uh, can we? Huh. Yeah, what defeat is going to be used for? Like, we can use it to make a star, I guess, but the star isn't anything, so it's not like we can... we can pull it around or push it or something.
and having Rocket or Bird be defeat wouldn't matter because I'm not going to step on them. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess... No, right. Yeah, we can't have the feet, like, pushed in. If I push that in, it's just a star. And then, like, if the bird is up here, and we just have it move, then nothing happens. Even if it's, like, pull as well, right? Because that's, like, it could pull stuff, not the star, yeah? Yeah, I can't really see what we're going to use defeat for. Since we can't use it as just like an extra word to push in front. Yeah, exactly. Defeat. The only thing making a defeat rule would do is defeat you as Baba, which you wouldn't want in any situation. It can't affect anything that isn't you. So it can't affect the UFOs. It can't affect the rockets or the bird. So the only reason to have defeat would be something about, like, having it as a block that you can push. But yeah, it's very strange, like, what you would make use of it for. And we haven't had any other rule changes, right? Let me just, like, quickly take a look. Just at the top. Cloud is stop, Bob is you. Dust is defeat. UFO is hot. Rocket is rocket and melt. I think everything there is the same. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I wonder what the hell this rule is about. The text on dust thing, I can now understand, to prevent you pushing in words here. But how would you ever get text on text? Why would that ever matter to prevent, like, unintended solutions? Oh yeah, there's another difference. I have two isses. Hold on, let me check again. What did we have? Here? Yeah. Like, we still- we have the same exact amount of tiles here, but just this is is now accessible, and the right is now a defeat. Okay. And I can't think of any weird thing you could do where you could have, like, the defeat be on top of... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Be on top of, like, one of the birds or rocket. You could, like, oh, if the bird is pulling the rocket and on top of the bird is defeat, then the rocket would push it as well. But, again, you can't do that to get them through. Text on text to star is just no text stacking. Yeah, but, like, the problem is, yeah, they can cause issues, but... How would you even have that happen? How could it possibly... How could it be possible to stack text here? I guess you would have to, like, push something onto the belt and then somehow have this push on in the same... on the same exact turn or something? I guess that could technically happen? Maybe? I have no idea how it would happen, but yeah, that might be why. Oh, I see, yeah. I see. If you have a rocket and bird, they can, like... If both are move, then they can push words together. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this one. Like, I don't even see how we can get the bird in here and still save the bird. No, I guess I do see that. That, that I can see. Hold on. 
That shouldn't be too bad. Because we just have to make rocket is pull, like, at the same time. Like... For now, we just make... Oh, no. Nope. Not rocket is move. Nope. Not rocket is move. Just bird is move. And it starts... Starts push ah, starts pushing it. And then here we like push this up here, and then we break it, and now they're like aligned. And now we can make bird is pull. And rocket is move. And now they can come back. So like that's that's step one for sure, but that's the easiest step. And yeah, what would defeat be here for? Just a good old block of defeat. Like, I can't think of defeat being used to, like, push certain rules in place more easily, where you would want an extra block so you could push the rule, like, offset or something. I don't know how that would make sense. It really feels like we have to somehow have defeat in there, but I don't see how that can be arranged. Why we even need another is here? Like, what that will allow me to do? I can have both of them be something at the same time, I guess? Like, if we do both of them is pull? But then how would I make anything move? I can't really see, like, what having two isses does for me that I couldn't already do before. I mean, I guess I could turn the bird into a rocket. Because bird isn't bird, but rocket is rocket. But then we would still, like, even if I had two rockets that could move to the left, then that's that's bad. If we could have two birds moving to the left, that would be one thing, but yeah. Yeah, like having having two isses means you can have both of them be move or both of them be pull, which we couldn't do before, or one or the other. I guess, yeah, I guess that does make sense then, kind of, but still not like how to make it happen, but in that case, if we make them both move, like I guess uh, I have to, yeah, we can do like double pull stuff at this point. Just break that put defeat here. I don't think you want to do that, but still, we can do it. And now just make both both move. Yeah, that just turns into a star and then it's gone. So, that doesn't make any sense. 
And yeah, we need bird for the win state, so we can't transform bird into a rocket anyway, even if that would allow us to do anything. Yeah, not sure about this defeat. So we can do this. Oh, the problem now is going to be, like, breaking this in one turn. Yeah, how is that going to happen? Is that where defeat comes into play somehow? Can we somehow use defeat? To just, like, break both rules in one turn. I don't see how that would happen. I mean, I guess at this point we don't need them both to be moved. We can just do the normal thing, but... It's not going to be enough to push the Is in. Hmm. Yeah, this might be another one to just leave for later as well. Yeah, that doesn't really help. If I make bird move for like one turn, then... I don't know how to get the bird back at this point. Yeah, I mean, you just said the nudge that I already like figured out here. Like the bird... The bird has to push it in, but how would the bird get back at this point? I don't see how we can have, if we can have the bird, like, go on the belt. That doesn't seem... ...doable. It was the worst timing? Well, it was the best timing. It was, like, right when I figured that out, I guess. I mean, not... You just confirmed it, which is good. Like, it was just a thing you can do, I guess. But now that's, like, confirmed that, yes, this is what we want to have happen. And just from now, it should be possible somehow to get the bird back. I guess? Or is that even true? Like, from this state, can we get the bird back? Or do I have to have done something else first? This is a loose state just because of the, the rocket position. Okay. But I don't see how having the rocket in a different position would help. Yeah, there's no way we can have some weird thing happen where, like, the rocket would be up here and pull it back. Like, we can't make it turn however we want. Remember how you got the bird back initially? Uh, oh god, uh, do I? Not really. <laughs> I forgot what happened with that. Yeah, wasn't that just it walking, like, against the, the rocket? I thought where I originally did right, which was wrong, but when the rocket is pulled and the bird is moved, it would just move back the other way. But yeah, like, we can't do that here, because in that case the rocket would be in one of these two spaces, right?
this might be helping you solve it. I mean, that's that's always a thing. Like, that's why it's always so easy to tell how to solve a level when you're watching someone else do it, because you get to benefit from like both their reasoning and ideas and your own reasoning and ideas. So it's like doubling up. What two spaces? Just like here, since we need the bird to go all the way to this tile to push the word on, I don't see how we can not have the rocket in one of these two tiles and then it would just be dead. Because if we do the whole pull trick earlier, then the is won't be all the way in. Unless we could somehow use the feet, which I have no idea how you would would do. Bird needs to walk against the rocket. Yeah, that makes sense. That like, uh, oh man, I don't know. Like, if we want the bird to moonwalk somehow, but how would we do that? Because if now the bird is pull and the rocket is move, they just start moving this way. Yeah, and then they're stuck. Rocket in front of bird. That just seems like a bad idea, like, how is that going to help? Because we still need to break the whole pull thing for the bird to move across and push the word in. Right, isn't this some weird thing here? Wait. Oh god, I think I see what has to happen, but I don't know exactly how to do it. But I remember the whole weird thing about, like... It, it's... they will walk to the right, but you still get, like, a push-left turn, because that's what the... what the bird is trying to do or something. But I don't know how to make that happen, where, like, we want... Yeah, wait, isn't this just now? Like, the rocket needs to now be move with a bird being pull. No, but that that's not gonna work. Also, this is kind of bad. Hold on, I want to make this happen for just one turn. to there. If now we make the bird pull, or like both pull or something, maybe now is where we need to do some weird thing. Let's just see what happens if I do this. Yeah, it just pulls it out again, so that does not like turn into a left turn. Left move. I don't I don't know how we would have that like happen, but if we could have the bird like try to move to the right against the rocket and it can't, it would then like push to the left, but I don't know how to do that without also having the rocket get pulled with it. And yeah, like I guess now I'm not doing the rocket in front, but If the rocket is in front, we would just be, like, here. Which doesn't seem like it would do anything.
Yeah, and after moving left, it would also face left. Like, you somehow want to do something, like, from here? Maybe not. This might be too late, still. But, like, if we ever have the bird go in front of the rocket, I feel like the rocket being in front of the bird originally doesn't matter. I don't see how to make it matter that the rocket has to be in front. Other than, like... Ah, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know how to, like, keep the bird facing right or something. <laughs> you just got it. Nice. I don't think I'm on your heels. Yeah, when it pushes the in, in, uh, the is in, it'll be facing left. It has to push against the rocket to get back. Oh, yeah, there you go. Now it clicked. But, oh god, how would we end up doing that? I see. That's why we need to have both move at the same time. So somehow we need to have, like, the rocket, I guess, go up past here? Or something like that? Oh god, how are we gonna make that happen? Yeah, I'm not sure what the defeat text is going to do yet, but okay, I think I understand something, at least. Uh, hold on, wait. I don't know how many, like, tiles it has to go. Let's just see what happens here. Yeah, that's too many. That's still too... too many. I want to, like, actually count. So let's make the move simultaneously now. Yeah, now the bird is too early. Wait, didn't I just make the bird move one step? I guess it would be there? So at this point... Hold on. At this point, we can break Rocket is move here, and then break Rocket Bird is move. I know, but then the Rocket is... Oh god, we need to have pull happen, like, at this time. How is that gonna happen? Yeah, like, at this point, two turns from now, I want the Rocket to be pull. I see, and yeah, now I can see, like, why you might need an extra block. For something here, but I'm not entirely sure how. How are we gonna make pull happen at that point?
No, that's not going to be it. Oh, you didn't get it? You got bird as win, but lost access to the bird. Oh, no. I guess that's like the last pitfall. I'm not sure how to, like, push the words to make this happen. I guess I could, hold on, I could realign them a little bit and give more turns. Let's see if this works better. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what defeat is doing exactly at this point, but if I do this... Yeah, like, something like that. One more turn. Hold on. Uh... Let's do this... to here. Let's, oh no! So it's there. But I'm still not making use of defeat, so I don't think I have this, like, done yet. And this is just one part anyway. Wait, no, I, I wouldn't even want to break rock a bird's move at that point. So what is defeat gonna do? Defeat is just, like, bad as it is here. I'm just gonna try this. I just wanna see, like, what happens if I do it, do it this way. There. That works. That works for this part, but yeah, now we would just lose the bird on the next one. The extra is it's just making maneuvering easier, you're not using it at the same time. Hmm. I did it without defeat? How would I use defeat? I don't even see how, like, this is good? Did I do something right? <laughs> but I don't know how to, like, do anything from here, since, yeah, we wouldn't have access to bird anymore. Like, obviously, you can, we can just get the bird back out at this point. But the rocket is, like, donezo. So you can just prep them, like, by the belts? Oh yeah, I guess so. Like, just have the bird sitting here, have the rocket sitting here, and then it's, like, during this, this time, that you somehow need to use defeat. But I mean, this this kind of seems simpler to me, honestly, to just like time it instead. But so, I can do it from this point, whatever it is. <laughs> and then if, if that is what you need a defeat for, we don't even need defeat anymore.
You position both the bird and the rocket right in front of the belt. Yeah. Then the next three turns, a rocket is move, rocket is defeat, a rocket is pull, bird is move. Ah, I see, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, move, defeat, pull is just in a line. Yeah? But I guess... I guess it works without it. There should be a Flight Academy 3 where defeat is just gone, and then you just have to do it again. But I'm still not sure what to do at this point. So yeah, we can't do anything with, like, bird is pull and bird is move at the same time. I don't think that's going to matter. Oh, right. And it's not even in the right layer. Yeah. From here, how can I save the bird? How could I have the bird, like, facing right at this point? Remember what I just did? Uh, I'm not sure I do. Depending on what you mean. Because there's nothing more to send in to make pull. We can't salvage the rocket. Bird, bird is. Oh, are you just talking about the like that one move, or are you talking about now? Bird is rocket is. Yeah, exactly. Pull, chain to pull, defeat and move. Yeah, that's that's what Shrug was saying. And if you want to be known as Shrug or Simon or what your preferred name should be. You have to do it twice, but how could we do it twice when we've lost access to the the rocket at this point? And like I can't have the bird push the rocket in or something. Most people use shrugs. Why would you add the S? Then you would be shrugs Iman. <laughs> Yoinking it off the belt using a rocket. Huh? Oh! Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. We want the bird to move here now, and then in two turns, have the, the rocket go to the right and pull it out, and then we can make bird just move again. Okay, yeah, I understand. But then, yeah, how to do that. So we, we will eventually want rocket is move. We will want bird is move for the first turn. And then bird will become pull at the end. Is it really gonna work just like this? Do 
Yeah, it moves. Then is nothing. Yeah, okay, I see. Okay, so basically I I kind of like squandered it for myself by doing it in the non-intended defeat way, which made it harder to visualize the second one, which is kind of like harder. You have less time, I guess. Okay, but there we go. Come to me, bird. There we go. Nice. Yeah, thanks again for the hints. That is also a very good level, but I'm not sure I would have thought it- Oh god, there is a Flight Academy 3. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have thought it was a great level if I didn't have any hints and was just stuck on it for four hours. I guess let's just take a quick look. Right is back. But we have two isses still. Is this just exactly the same as the pre the first one, but just the is has moved from here to here? Are there any other changes? Oh, you haven't solved this one? Oh boy. That's weird, because like just seeing it, it, it kind of looked relatively simple to me, but it probably isn't. I'm just gonna do the thing again, where I just like take a screenshot and just compare them so I can just see like, was there actually anything else changed? Oh yeah, oh god, there's a third UFO now as well, shit. <laughs> yeah, the third lane also has a UFO now. That kind of complicates things a little bit. Yeah, the third one seems pretty difficult. You're dropping out of Flight Academy. I'm kind of thinking the same as well. We're not going to be playing for much longer, and this has been a lot of Flight Academy. Maybe I just want to wanna check out like another level that isn't this just yet. So yeah, how would we even like start with all this? That makes it seem like you have to do the right command immediately at the start, but if you do, then how would you save both of these using one rocket? I mean, I guess something similar, but the whole, like... Yeah, but then Bird would just be right, so we couldn't just have Bird walking in here and, like, facing the belt. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's just not think about this one just yet, I think. Yeah, and how the two isses can be useful here. And we still had, like, the whole rule with the star, yeah. So you can't, like, make use of the words as blocks in that sense. Yeah, no idea. Let's leave it for now and just check out Moonrise Sunset. Maybe I should even, like, check out a different world a little bit. Fall? What? Fall is up now? And fall is down. Moon is moon and fall up. Moon is sun, sun is sun, and fall down. I see. So now, like, fall has specific orientation, specific gravity. Okay. Yeah, that's why the arrow was there in the previous previous level, just to like set that up, that now we're gonna have multi-directional fall. Okay, so eventually we need to push flag as win into place. Text is melt, dust is hot. I see, so we can't push the text through this gap. UFO is defeat, so I can't be the one to like go down here. But I can just walk in. Yeah, like we can just walk in at some point. We need to have something sink this, which will be the moon. Moon will sink this, sun will like push this in, I guess? How would that happen? The sun can't move. Huh. Baba is stop as well.
Yeah, how, how are we going to get something to push Flagger's win to the right? The only thing that seems to be able to push is me, but I can't fall past the UFO? We can do something about like, oh, because we can do sun is you over here. So we need to get the sun into here, falling down, and then turn into me, and then walk right for one turn. Okay. But how do we, like, ferry the sun across here? Hmm. It's like we need to align Baba and the Sun or something, so that they can move on on top of each other. Like we somehow need to have... ...the Sun, like, fall onto Baba here, or here. You've done all of Familiar Land, except Enter the Infinity and Flight Academy 3. Glad we got to check those out immediately, then. You don't know how to help me on Enter the Infinity? Yeah, it's just like... Just make it happen. Somehow. This doesn't seem like a good idea, because then I'm just gonna, like... Ruin the end. Wait, no. No, no. Uh, hold on. I don't, don't think this is gonna be correct, but if we do just, like, this... Then we can move, like, one step like that, but, yeah, then it just falls again. have it fall onto Baba. It just seems like we want the sun to be you at the same time, and then we want to both walk like over here, probably at this line, so that the sun can just walk and fall down here. Yeah, this one doesn't seem that bad. It definitely doesn't seem like as hard as the previous ones we've done, but I'm still not just seeing it immediately. And yeah, we have like a bunch of extra words I can use as like platforms and stuff, but I'm just not sure how to line them up and make both happen at the same time. I guess, hold on, wait, by just like extending this, I guess? Yeah, this should be fine, shouldn't it? Hold on. So we just... Oh, crap. Uh, one sec. Nope. Uh, that's fine. Actually... No, we can't do that for, like, more of them. But just... Sun is pushed first. And just set it up here. Ah, yeah, that, that's the issue. Uh, get rid of this is first. So 
to there. Get these out of the way. And we do like this. No, but that's, yeah, that's still a problem. Uh, one more. Hold on. We can just, like, move this one. Onto here instead. Now we move this out of place. No, uh, wait, and then... Oh god, no. How do we, like... <sighs> I don't see how to push the text in and then still have, like, be aligned with the sun. We would have to push it down from above, but how could I do that? I can't push this down... Like, I, that's fine, but now it, I'm too high. No, I'm not. It's fine. Jesus. I I thought you needed to, like, start out at the right level. You don't. Okay. So that's one of them, but now the moon. The moon seems like it might be more of a problem, since the moon is, like, to make moon as you, we need to make it all the way over here, but the moon is all the way down here. Wait, how does fall work again? Yeah, I think if we just do moon is push and then push this up. I thought that didn't work for some reason. I guess it does. Yeah, somehow I thought that would like make it fall through, that you would push it up and then it would fall down. But I guess that's because moon is push now. If moon isn't push and I do that, then it'll fall, yeah. But then how am I gonna... I guess we want the moon to be, like, pretty high up. Like over here or something? Hmm. No, that this seems like a... Like a bad idea. Yeah, how am I gonna be, like... All the way up here. We have more words, like push it in. I guess that's what it's gonna be. But how? Yeah, that was like a trio misconception. Once again, how do I line up at this point? Maybe we don't? Maybe I just do... Hold on. Maybe we just have to set up the moon, like, all the way up here, instead. I like how I'm saying up, because, you know, it's all relative. If we have that, like that... I can just move over here. And then the moon is on top of me. And then that sinks. There we go. Nice. Okay. That was a cool one. Area clear. I guess so. I mean, we haven't even, like, done half of them, I feel. Well, that's an area clear. Yeah, we, we haven't even done half of them. Jesus Christ. That's a pretty lenient... 
lenient clear. Yeah, I, I think that might be a good time to just end it off. Or maybe we'll just take a quick look at like one of the arcade things. Just do the Space Invaders one or something. Yeah, like Bob Invaders. Yeah, I could have had you and Push at the same time, but I'm not sure that would have helped. I don't know. It worked out anyway. I don't think I want to do Bob Hour or Gravity Chamber, but we could check these ones. So let's just see like what happens with this one. How did I? Oh yeah, I press up to shoot. This is where I start missing. And that Kiki's gonna get me. There we go. Okay, yeah, that, that's very lenient, at least. So that's nice. Not sure I want to do any of these. For like five minutes. I just replayed like the Cube Escape series and Rusty Lake games and stuff with the with my sister, because she really likes those games. And there was like a puzzle like this. That one cabinet in Cube Escape was a paradox or something? Or was it the cave? I don't remember. But just like five sections of these. So I'm already, like, tired of them again. <laughs> hmm. These are probably the easier one. I guess I didn't really even try see. It was just like a sliding block puzzle that I didn't... didn't really look at. And once again, I don't understand, like, what's going on here, or why. Why that was necessary. Like they just they just get stuck in this loop and can't like join up. Oh, that's exactly what I want to do, but just the opposite. Yeah, just get the box in here first. Damn it, no. Wait, actually, no, it would be the other way around. Get Baba in here first. <sighs> no. I don't know. I don't think I know what I'm doing here. It's always just Baba being in the wrong spot here. There we go. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's not too bad, but I'm just not very good at sliding block puzzles. Did I have Bob above the flag? Maybe I did. And this one now. Somehow we need to pull this down and this up or down. And to pull this down, this needs to move at least two steps to the right, which means this has to be up. Oops. The 
we probably just can't do that, like, immediately. Because now everything is just blocked. Yeah, now this is, like, locking itself in. I also got to, like, get this one moving forward without locking these in place. And this, like, pulling this up or down doesn't seem to ever matter. I don't know if it does, like, if we want to pull this all the way to the left here. At some point. I don't really see why that would help. Yeah, we can't do anything else here. We can't do anything else here. I mean, this, I guess. That's something, yeah. Oh, wait. No, hold on. Not yet. Uh, it's not quite there yet. Wait, it is It is there yet. Jesus. Yeah, I just didn't even see that. It's very simple. Okay. I mean, that was not as hard as it kind of seemed to be. You can definitely have much harder versions of those types of puzzles. Right, oh, whoops. I just went in again. Alright. Now I feel good about ending it. <laughs> now we can just end it off there. And yeah, I guess we might check out more familiar land. Next time, just the levels I haven't even tried, but at the same time, I also want to, like, branch out and just try the other ones. We'll see. Especially, like, I'm assuming this one will open up more paths later on. But yeah, that's Bob as you. All things considered, pretty decent progress. Thanks for the hints and the help. I think this is a, a nice balance of, like, some hinting where when I get stuck and not having to rely on guides that either just tell me what I already know, or tell me the answer without anything. So, yeah, it's very good. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow I'm probably doing... I'm thinking Gungeon and Crosscode. I'll probably want to finish that Gungeon run I was doing. Probably start with Crosscode, so... If you're interested in that, see you then. Otherwise, have a good night. I mean, okay, you can have a good night even if you don't show up tomorrow. Good night.